ever wondered how your beer gets from this to this? Well, then don't miss this episode. When it comes to appreciating your favorite beer, learning how to make it is crucial. At Brooklyn Brewery's Small Batch Tours, guests are invited to get a taste, literally, of the beer making experience. We're on holiday in New York. Brooklyn Brewery is quite popular in England, so um, yeah, it just seemed like a good thing to go and do. Mainly, my husband loves beer. I know Brooklyn Brewery, and uh, I think they're a great product. <laughs> so what have you learned so far about beer that you didn't know coming in? Um, probably for a variety of uh, beers you have here. Tasting it, how to taste it properly, um, smelling it and taking in the whole, to just taking it in more slowly and really enjoying all the different aspects of it. So what New Yorker doesn't love a cold one after a long day? Well, before it gets on your kitchen table or on the bar, it needs to start somewhere. Here we are at Brooklyn Brewery today. I'm joined today by Gabe. Gabe, great to see you. It's good to see you too. So I can understand Brooklynites, New Yorkers would want to come and check this out, but are you seeing people from around the world come too? Oh, absolutely. About 40% of our total uh, brand is all exports. Um, so we do um, a huge presence. We do a huge amount of presence in the rest of the world. Actually, if you look at our top three markets, number one is New York City and the New Jersey area. Number two coming in hot is Sweden. And then number three is the UK. What are you hoping people take away about not only beer, but the creation process and all that goes into it? The beer industry now in the American craft beer sense is really only about 30 years old. The beverage itself, is really the oldest beverage known to humankind. I mean, this is something that we can pinpoint back to the Tigris and Euphrates River and the Hampton and Kasi and kind of this birth of what this beverage is. So I think that the brewery as, as a whole hopes that individuals will either come here with some kind of a passion for either our brand or beer as a whole, leave with a greater knowledge for that. And then for some folks who maybe are just either a, a really good like significant other or a really good like brother or sister that came along for the ride, might leave here understanding that although they might not have a favorite beer at this moment, they're gonna be open to finding a lot of the different flavors that exist in this world and helping to find a beer for that. Gabe, I gotta be honest, you have gotten me so excited about Brooklyn Brewery and what you guys are doing here. So here, here to beer. Here, here. Let's go on the adventure shall we? Before we get this tour started, here's some Brooklyn Brewery 101. The brewery was founded in 1987 by Steve Hindy and Tom Potter and produces both seasonal and perennial beer. Garrett Oliver is the brewmaster and has won a James Beard Award for his brewing skills. And now on with the tour. We start in the brew house where the beer is made. Made from barley, water, hops, and yeast, the brewing process requires fermentation of the starches and creates a natural carbonation effect. All of the big bottle series, Brewmasters Reserves, and a variety of draft beers are brewed right here in Williamsburg. Once it's done, it's sent to the packaging room and stamped with the famous Brooklyn Brewery label. You can find beers in bars and restaurants around the country and 17 countries around the globe. All cheers to that. Out of all the beers that we make, the ones that are most commonly ordered here at the bar are gonna be from three different styles. Uh, the first one is gonna be our Brooklyn Lager. This is our flagship beer. It's an amber lager. We've been making it since 1988, uh, and it's our best seller to date. Uh, this is Brooklyn East IPA. We make several different IPAs here at the Brooklyn Brewery, but this is the original one that we've done. And then the third is a style that we're specializing in as well, Brooklyn Sriracha Ace. This is a Saison, which is my favorite beer that we make. Now out of these three beers that we do here that are probably the most commonly ordered, I would say that the most uh, commonly ordered style or beer that we make here is gonna be our Brooklyn East IPA mainly because the IPA style is a very predominant style in the United States, in United States craft beer. And when people come to a bar, especially a bar like ours that serves about a dozen different beers on draft, people just say, I'll have the IPA. What kind of beers do you like? What do you drink? Uh, IPAs, um, chocolate stouts. Uh, I think craft beer is quite big now for UK. I think a lot of people are going for like more like artisan kind of local products and things like that so I think definitely it's got a big future. I, I think so yeah I, I, I think uh, for a variety of um, craft beer um, I, and I, I think it's just opening beer up to a new generation so yeah I think it will continue to grow. I gotta be honest with you I have been on a lot of tours and this 
is gonna take the top spot. So interesting to learn about beer, and I've really gotten to see how it's not just a drink, but it's a part of history and culture. Reporting from New York, or in this case, Brooklyn, I'm Christy Clevins.